Hello everyone and welcome back to A Wandering Orc Plays Morrowind. Let's see if we can't find this eastern docks Come on, I haven't today. got all day, you know. Yes, yeah. us neither. We're trying to meet someone, don't you know? Okay, so on to the Ebonheart eastern eastern docks to meet uh, Blatha Fazy or whatever her name was. Um, ooh, this looks promising. Oh, definitely, that's that sculpture that I really wanted to see. Oh, let's go gaze upon it and all its one. Oh my god, look, another gnome. How do you do? Dude, you look ridiculous. Gaildal. Nice to meet you, Gildal. Jeez, he is like a gnome. Aren't these guys like wood elves or something? Why do they do that with their faces? Welcome, Annalise Streetfeet. I'm Gildal, and this is Ebonheart. If you're new here, you'll be wanting to ask about our many services for travelers. And I imagine you wouldn't mind a little advice? Alright, let's ask about a little advice. If you want to talk to an archer about archery, go talk to Ian in Ebonheart. You can usually find him wandering around on the plaza near the docks where the dragon statue is. <laughs> Okay, dude. I'm gonna leave you right here. You are all together too happy. Let's just uh, really check this out. Wow, man. Oh, yeah, dude, you're in my way. Okay, wow. Oh, did you see that guy's helmet? So dude. Much what do you want? You're a monster. I think I would like a photo, you know? If we could get one together, I would appreciate it. Welcome, citizen Annalise Street Feet. I am Ulfen Gro Logrub, and this is Ebon Hart. If you're new here, you'll be wanting to ask about our many service. Oh, he just says the same thing that the gnome did. Kartak. Kartak Point. How does he know about that? Glorious Kartak Point. Very famous for Orc's great hero, Kartak, who had fought some battle or something, died there. Very famous. Wow. Okay. Orcs. They call us barbarians because we are brave in war and we laugh at hardship. But we have earned our citizenship by service in the legions, and we are as civilized as any race. We make the finest weapons and armor in the world, and our warriors are the bravest and toughest in Tamriel. Alright, dude, I totally believe you, and you are actually really cool. Um, ooh, East Empire Company, is that what he's a part of? The East Empire Company is a monopolistic mercantile enterprise chartered by the Emperor, and managed by a board of directors appointed by the Emperor. The company has sole authority to trade in certain goods, like Flynn, raw ebony, raw glass, and Dwemer artifacts. And it also enjoys favorable tariffs and regulations for import and export of other common and exotic goods like quama eggs, marshmallow pop, mm, pulp, <clears throat> saltrice, and Tilvani bug musk. Hmm. Because of its wealth and the favor of the Emperor, the East Empire Company wields considerable influence in the Duke's administration. Oh. Wow, very cool. Alright, thanks so much, uh, often grow log grub. Coolest looking person in the entire game that I've ever seen. Except maybe that woman in the tavern, but damn. That is pretty cool. So, uh, someone we gotta meet down here? Bathus Barthus. That is just such a cool statue. And... let's just try. Ooh, oh, I bet that's her. We're gonna go meet her. I think it's a her. And I think she's the only her around. Hello, her. Yes, friend. Yes, Blata. That was her name, Blata. Greetings, Blata Hatteria. Yes, I'm Blata Hatteria. Do I know you? Right, you're Annalise Streetfeet. My friend said you might want to go fishing. Wink, wink. I know a fine place. Excellent fishing, my friend. Mayor Ramilo says it's her favorite fishing spot. You ready to go? Yeah, baby, let's get the show on the road. Let's catch the biggest fish we ever- Oh, right, that's a metaphor. Good. I'm ready to take you to Halamayan anytime you're ready to travel. And I'll be here to offer that service anytime you need it. Awesome. Thank you so much. I guess, um, Azura's Coast region is where we're trying to go. Now I think only at dawn or dusk does that wall open up. I'm Vavrana Aryan, a monk of the Halamayan. The monastery is here on this island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and the path uphill. The entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path and the portal will open at dusk or dawn only. The magical twilight hours sacred to Azura. Mayor Milo has told us of your coming. You can find her in the library with Master Borello. Later, I can arrange for your return to Vivic whenever you are ready. Oh, wonderful. Oh, people are so nice here. Man, Mayor Milo is like 
a hot name in the region. Like, you become friends you, with her and... Go ahead. Yeah, see? And suddenly, like, everybody likes you, so we have to make our way up the mountain, which we will happily do because we're a monk and we're heading to a monastery. Fuck yeah. Or, I mean, yes. Sacred Azura. Okay, so let's go uh, pay om homage. Homage? Homage? Rats! What the balls are you- are you guys gonna attack me or are you just gonna waltz? We haven't fought rats in a while. Oh man, when was the last time we fought a rat? I think that was pre corpus disease and that's- that's definitely been a while. And I can't get any of these guys' disease anymore, I'm immune to everything. Ha ha ha, joke's on you. Little bloodshot eyeball rats. They got crazy fangs, too. Don't look much like rat fangs, more like vampire fangs. Unless I, uh, just don't know what, what rat fangs should look like. Oh man, this is gorgeous! Heading on our pilgrimage up the side of a mountain in the rain, and we are at the back of the building. Oh no, that's right! It only opens at dawn or dusk, so now we wait uh, until it's 10 a.m., so let's wait until, like, what? 6 p.m., I guess? So, yeah, like six or seven hours, I think. Yes, that was me doing math. That was very painful. Oh, crap, and I pressed the wrong button. All right, how long do we have to wait now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, after all that. Derp some Annalise Street Feet. Come now. Did it do it? Oh, my God! Oh, put away our mitts, and we're walking. Because we are now like sacred monks. Saving. Oh, man. Oh, my God, this is awesome. And we feel like we're home. Like, oh, yes. Everyone else is barefoot as well. This is where we were meant to be. I don't need any blessings, guys. No blessings. Not today. Maybe later. As I pray. My prices are reasonable. Oh, uh... Oh, wasn't expecting to hear that here, but, uh, sure. Can't you afford a better outfit? Oh, God. Come on! You're, like, wearing rags yourself. It's, like, all tattered around your neck and stuff. Oh, I thought he, like, sold outfits, and so he was, like, trying to make me feel bad about that. Um, dude, you're like... Not what I expected. Why are you even here? Are you even really a monk? Are you even barefoot? Oh no, he is barefoot. Alright, well, I'll accept your monk status being barefoot and all. So let's find Mera Milo. And we'll start running again. Evesa, Danilo. Woo! Oh, don't mind me just you jumping on everything. Speak. It's not a big deal, right? I'm allowed to do that, right? I fit right in. Taryn Amothan. This looks like the kind of place Maramila would hang out. Whoa, you are awesome. All right, let's just ask. Uh, ooh, Phelan Andral says, Welcome, Annalise Street Feet. Maramila has told us of your coming. You can find her in the library with Master Barela. Ooh, more secret conversations in the library. Maramila has run terrible risks remaining at the Hall of Wisdom and Truth. And we are grateful that you rescued her from the Ministry of Truth. Master Gilvis Borello is the abbot of our monastery and the head of our secret order. Oh my god. What is this secret order? We have adopted the name Dissident Priest. Oh shit, this is the Dissident Priest Temple. Oh god, I should have known that, but we are not ashamed of our disputes with the temple's hierarchy. Aw oh, man. We are fiercely loyal to the temple's ancient traditions, but we are troubled that the ultimate source of the tribunal's divinity might be the same as the source of Dagoth Ur's evil power. Dagoth Ur's power seems to wax as the tribunal's power wanes. Read The Progress of Truth and other documents of the Apographa in our library and you'll see why we are uneasy. Sir, good sir, Phelan Andral, who is so Shopping nice to me, part of a secret order, and trying to hawk enchantments. Wow, your hair is something else. Um, yes, we have already read Progress of Truth. Again, if you want to see what the interior of Progress of Truth is. Uh, oh man, what a You're handsome on your lord, honor. fracky. Don't press your luck. Uh, yeah, you can just check the Wandering Orc, re Wandering Orc Reads Morrowind. 
uh, section of my playlist, and uh, it's uh, it's dry. <laughs> it reads like a legal document, but it is such an honor to meet you. Mera, oh god, I love you. You're my favorite person now. So let's see what she has to say. Thank you, Annalise Streetfeet, for rescuing me. Now I'll stay here at Himalayan with Master Barelo and assist him with the monastery's library. So she was like a secret cultist all the time. That was that's pretty freaking sweet. So uh, I'm gonna ask her about the secret order, but she just says the exact same thing the other guy did. Uh, Divine intervention scrolls. Of course, normally I only use on civvy intervention scrolls, but for my escape from the Ministry of Truth, the divine intervention scroll was just what I needed. Dagoth Ur. -er. Dagoth Ur -er is an evil, immortal enemy of the Tribunal Temple cult. The temple holds Dagoth Ur -er and his hosts accountable for all evils that beset the Dunmer and Morrowind. Dagoth Ur -er dwells in the fiery caverns beneath the Red Mountain, served by his kin, called Ash Vampires, and by legions of deformed monsters. Hmm. Persecuted by the temple. Why does the temple persecute the dissident priests? Because the attacks on the temple weaken the faith, and leave people defenseless against the influence of Dagoth Ur. Faith is what strengthens the will of the believer against Dagoth Ur's lies. I feel like I have asked her this before, but we'll just keep reading. Faith is the source of the divine power that sustains the tribunal in their battle with Dagoth Ur. Since the Empire, some Dunmer have turned away from the temple, and that's why Dagoth Ur grows stronger, why blight storms and monsters threaten the land. Okay, what about Chaos? Chaos has gone back to the Imperial City? He says he's been recalled? I wonder. I never know what he's thinking. I think he's involved in something secret, something dangerous. I was hoping he might help us. Now he's gone. I, I don't know what to think. Oh man, he said that they were really close, but damn, this poor woman. Now she has to be heartbroken on top of everything else. At least she's not in prison anymore. Um, soul sickness I've asked her about before. So what I really want is here we go. Then a reverie prophecies. The Ashlanders. Um, dude, I already know all that. So how do we get those prophecies, which is what we need? So let's talk to um, Gilvis Bardo, Barillo, sorry, and uh, we need the Lost Prophecies, that's what we really, really need, so we're going to ask him straight about that. Lost Prophecies. I've reviewed the Apocrypha and have found two passages of particular interest. We've made copies of these passages to give you. Many are familiar with two Nerevering prophecies current among the Ashlanders called The Stranger and The Seven Vision. We have two other prophecies, the Lost Prophecy and the Seven Curses, that may offer additional insights into the riddles surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the Lost Prophecies that your friend Nibani Mesa told you about. Also nice of him to like read through and like look for that stuff. I wonder if he underlined it and stuff, or if that's considered like defacing old texts. Alright, continue. We have also prepared a document for you called Kegrinax Tools. This document will explain to you and to others the terrible secret that the temple conceals about the true history of the tribunal and the corrupt nature of their, de their divine powers. It is to conceal this secret that the temple persecutes the Nerevarine and the dissident priests. This persecution must stop. We must be united against the true enemy, Dagoth Ur, -er. and if you are the Nerevarine, you must lead us against him. Whoa, that escalated really quickly. Um... I guess Maramilo has, like, told him everything, including either that or I told him everything. So, uh, how does he know that I'm the Nerevarine? Oh, but he gave us Lost Prophecy and the Seven Curses. Oh, shit balls! yeah. We are going to be reading that so hard. And Kagranak's tools have also been added to our inventory. If we recall, I believe, Kagranak... Alright, I am kind of reaching here, but wasn't Kagranak the original... Dwemer King that our rapper friend mentioned. Uh, I could be, uh, again, I could be a little bit wrong about that, but that's what is stirring in my brain at the moment. Our interest in the Nereverine used to be a matter of principle, a willingness to consider the validity of mystical insights rejected by temple doctrine. Now Dagoth Ur grows stronger while the tribunal grows weaker, and the return of Saint Nerevar, even if only reborn in spirit, may be our best prospect of salvation. All right, cool. I'm going to ask him about Dagother. 
So long as the Ordinator's buoyant armigers and tribunal could contain the Blight and Dagoth Ur's creatures within the Ghost Fence. Faith in the Temple's protective power was strong, but now travelers and settlements suffer from Blight storms and marauding monsters, and the people fear the Temple is losing its ages-old battle with the Devil, Dagoth Ur. Aw, oh, damn. Okay. Um, we can ask about the Lost Prophecies, but... He says, from what you tell me, you may now have the lost prophecies the wise woman of Bonnie Mesa asked you to seek. Perhaps you should share your knowledge with her. Indeed, so I shall. I did ask him about the Apographa, but, um, I mean, we kind of read, I think. Well, no, maybe not. The Hierographa are collected priestly writings of the temple. The Apographa are the hidden writings, secrets known only to the highest level of priesthood in the Inquisition. Defying the temple, we have gathered as much of the Apographa as we can here in Halamayan. One of the chief disputes between the temple and the dissident priests is that the temple hides the truth from its followers. Alright, dude. Well, everyone here it seems to believe that I'm the Nereverine, or potentially the Nereverine. Um, that is, like, no pressure, right? Maybe that's why Miramilo likes me so much, or maybe it's because I popped into prison with a scroll and was just like, Here you go, man. I you lazy fetcher. Those boots are ruined. The Book of Dawn and Dust. I, I, I guess we know what this is about now. Um, probably something about Azura, considering this is a shrine of Azura. And this is also very cool. Oh man, can I read the, the one that he's reading? Can I do that? Oh, kind of. You can sort of see over his shoulder. Uh, he has actually really cool hair. Check that out. Uh, okay. So let's check our journal here and see what we have to do. I asked that guy too much stuff, and now the journal's all convoluted here. Um, uh, I think I need to just go back and essentially talk to What's-Her-Butt in the Ashland tribe, and then she'll probably tell me what to do next, so that's kind of fun. Man, Mira Milo did not even know that Chaos left. Look at her, she's over there just all forlorn in the corner. Like, oh, Chaos. Chaos. Why couldn't you put on a shirt? All right. So we have the Seven Curses, the Lost Prophecy, and Kagranax Tools. Oh my god, it is. It is Lord Kagranak. Oh shit. Balls. I wish I could go talk to uh, the dude and, and show him that, but okay. So I'm going to cut this a little bit short this time around, and then next oh, time we're going to head back to the Ashlander oh, camp. Um, and go talk to Nabani Mesa and give her the Lost Prophecies and see what there is to see. Uh, and maybe we really are the Nereverine. That would be tits, so that would just be awesome. Oh my god! What? More rats? Ew, this place is kind of gross, actually. Alright, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.